Okay, apparently the third time in recent years they stuck in a flowchart algorithm question that you had to use this trace table um, to try and work out. So question five, it starts off by putting in 27.5 and t into it for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow through the flowchart going through what they've done so far. So they've inputted x and y, they've set t equal to zero. Is x odd? They've said yes. Then we go this way. So we now, so because x is odd, we now set x equal to x minus 1, so that's 26. We set y equal to y, and t equals to t plus y, so t plus y is 5. Then we go there. Is x equal to 0? No. So we'd go back around here. We say that x is x divided by 2, so that's going to be 13 y equals 2y, so that's going to be 10, and t equals t, so that's 5. And go back round to here. So, we're now here again. So we go down. Is x odd? Yes. So, x goes to x minus 1, so that's going to go to 12. y stays as y, and t goes to t plus y, so that's going to be 15. Is x equal to 0? No. So I said x divided by 2. So x divided by 2 is 6. y equals 2y, so that's 20. And t equals 15. Then we go back up again to here. Oh. Then we go down. Is x odd? No. Is x zero? No. So we go back round. X equals x over two, so that's going to be three. Y equals two y, so that's going to be forty. And t equals t. And then we go back round to here. So is x odd? Yes. Well, in which case, yeah, we should have written down. No, yes, no here for x being odd. So, is x odd? Yes. So, x equals x minus 1, so that's going to be 2. y equals y. And t equals t plus y. Okay, then we go here. Is x equal to 0? Nope. So, we go back around to here. So, x divided by x over 2, so that's going to be 1, y is going to be 2, so that's going to be 80, and t equals t, so that's going to be 55. Let me get back around to here. Is x odd? Yes. So then x equals x minus 1, y equals y, and t equals t plus y, so that's going to be 135. Is x equal to 0? Yes, output t. Then we write, have we got an output thing down the bottom here? Okay, yeah, so it's upside down. So final output of t, t equals 135. Then we stop. So that's the final output. So when I went through, I got a feeling I didn't need to write no and yes for all of these here. So we didn't need to write it there because the reason that we got that. So yeah, the reason that we got that is we says x odd it was so we said x is x minus one which is where we got the twenty six from the y was five and that was there. So we went round then they asked us the question again. So then we said it was x was odd, yes. So on this line we didn't need to write in there. So that's it.
and that's how we get the full marks for that one as long as it looks like how it does now and make sure we've got t is 135 the numbers 122 and a half are to be used as inputs for the algorithm described by the flowchart state giving a reason which number should be input as x and then state the output so let's have a look If we put in x as a half, is x odd? Well, a half is neither odd or nor even. So we couldn't actually use that one. So we need to use 122 as x. So we need to say that hundred and twenty two as x as when they ask is x odd or even half is neither so that's b part one and state the output what we did, did here we got use 27 5 and we got 135 so what's happening it's just multiplying so state the output for 122 and a half so 122 times by one half equals 61. So 61 is going to be the output for that one. And you don't need to have put it back into the table to work that out. Obviously, if you did, that's all well and good, but you didn't need to. And that should be seven marks um, for question five. On to question six.